one thing about me I know black is beautiful Yes indeed Who love me, who love me, man I love me Exterior light, interior like the new streets In which we stand a lot unless we have new beats One microphone, that's our own definition of peace Get it? Stereotypes is type they throw on me We, us, we all together, don't you agree? See black is beautiful and half of us blacks can't see Too busy trying to be everybody else but we Never no image of our own, we always copy, delete And when time to delete, we pray to God nobody will see My sister, brother, father, mothers, uncles, mother, mothers Always love us cause they know the struggle Black the only last hope for each other So recognize what you are is what you gon' be And ain't no way around it Step out of your cubicle, get a taste of the fountain You're thirsty, you're drowning, you know that you hurt and you gotta be Watching you make a fool of yourself. Ha ha, not funny. Look, the show's over. Y'all can leave now. Actually, it's my movie club night, so we need the living room. So, can you make yourself scarce? Movie club? It's a new thing we're trying out, where we get together and watch movies we haven't seen before. Yeah, um, sounds boring. Hey, girls. Hey, Thelma. Hi, Denise. Oh, and I can't forget Tracy. I brought over my movie and my club. Um, V, I don't think that's how a book club works. Bianca, what are you doing here? You're not in the club. Um, and neither are you, Veronica? (gasps) No. Will the two of you please leave? Come on, V. Guess I'm being kicked out of my own living room. Fine. I don't want to be in your stupid movie club anyway. Oh, and at the end of this movie, everyone dies. Toodles. Man, what kind of bullshit is this? When a girl can't dance in her own living room? That's crazy. I know, right? Guess we can dance naked here. V, first off, ill. Second, I meant I don't have any privacy anywhere I go. Sure you do, V. In this little tiny itty bitty room. I don't know. It just seems like my parents, Kiki... Or Gemma is always somewhere lurking. Oh, hey. Steven, what the hell? I'm hiding from your mom. She's trying to make me join that stupid movie club of hers. Huh, and what's that in your hand? Oh, it's your diary. What you doing with it? I'm reading it. Come on, V, let's get out of here. Hey, 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 all right, all right. Bianca, what's good? What's good, Aaron? Yo, I haven't seen you in dumb long. Nothing much. What's happening? V, you remember my cousin Eric? Oh, was he the nice man who gave us those laced weed tacos? Whatever happened to him? No, V, this is Aaron. Hi, do you have any laced marijuana tacos? Of course, you know Veronica, of course. And who could forget? Thanks to her, my cat is still bald and jacked up. That cat was too fluffy, and I was sneezing a lot. What? Your place is fire. This is giving luxury side of TikTok. Hashtag smells like money. Hashtag y'all hoes could never. Hashtag get like me. 
Let me take a picture for my Insta. Wow, this is all yours? This must be the life. I mean, you ain't got no annoying sisters running around, no ex-best friends and parents all up in your business, and I bet you can dance naked in your own living room without worrying about your stepfather being in the closet. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I think. Hey, Aaron, so since this is all your stuff, you can break it and no one will get mad at you. Yeah, but why would I want to... Hey, what the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry. She was dropped on her head. <laughs> Man, keep her away from my stuff. He's so lucky to have his own place. You can say that again. I mean, because you ain't got no idea what it's like to have someone around 24-7. Oh, I'm starting to get a real good idea what that's like. Hey, Aaron. So since you're by yourself, you can turn the TV up as loud as you want, like this. Hey, I'm trying to work, so maybe y'all should leave. Like, go. No, no, this is the best part of the game. Okay, well, watch it quietly so I can work. Hey, Aaron, isn't this show the best? How many times do I got to tell you I'm trying to work? Um, I don't know. Three? Okay, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work. Hey, Bianca, what's your favorite part of Are You For Real? The part where you shut the fuck up so I can hear what's going on. Really? Because my favorite part is when the husband gets the answer wrong and the wife hits him like this. Don't do that shit again. I'm dead ass. Sorry. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You've won a brand new house. Hold up. Did he just say they want a brand new house? Yeah, well, there's the answer to your problems, B. Just find your husband, go on the show, win a house. That, that might be the best idea ever. I was just kidding. No, for real. Think about it. Also, I know just the person. B, who are you going to find to marry you? Why are you all looking at me? Ugh, these shoes hurt so much. Girl, nobody told you to wear heels. I had to. <laughs> they go good with my dress. Yeah. I mean, you you are looking real nice right now. With the dress and, uh... Never mind. Let's find this casting agent. Hi. Are you two here for the auditions? Yes. Yes, we are. Good, good. And what are your names? Well, I'm Veroni. Veroni with two eyes. And I'm B. Yana Val McLaurana. Okay, Mrs. and Mrs. Val McLaurana, we are looking for couples who think they know each other. Yep. Yeah, well, um, yeah, that's us. Yeah, we met through each other's ex boyfriends. Huh? Oh, <laughs> she's just playing. She's playing. You know, V, <laughs> shut up. Okay, and do either of you have a problem with revealing deep secrets? Oh, you mean how she has. A huge crush on my brother? Wife has a crush on another man that's your brother? No, I don't. Yes, uh, I read it in your diary. You read my diary too? She also practices rubbing a pillow between her legs at night. That ain't all what I can do with a pillow. Okay, okay, save it for the show, ladies. I'll put you on next week's taping. Wait, we made it just like that? Yes, miserable couples make good television. Don't forget your marriage license. Marriage license? Yes, to prove you're married. Bye. Well, I guess we can't go on the show now. V, we getting on the show. For the tenth time, do you, Bayona Val McLeod take for Ronnie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Are you sure there's no other way we can do this? Positive. Now do you? <sighs> I do. <laughs> oh. How touching. And do you, Verani, take Biona Valmik, I'm not pronouncing that again, to be your lawfully wedded wife? Um, hmm. See, um, I, uh. V, who loves Drake more than anyone? I do. Wait. Hey! I now pronounce you wife and wifey may kiss the bride. Oh, um, we don't gotta, we don't gotta do all that now. 
can we just have our marriage license now? <sighs> I suppose. Hold up. Let me get a photo of the happily newlyweds. Hey, do you think this new couch will look good in my new house? Honest opinion. Hey, y'all. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. I don't just want to look great. I got to look 100% if I'm going to be on TV. Hey, where'd you get all those women's clothes anyway? I got them from Bianca's mom. What? V, you took all my mom's clothes? Well, yeah. My mom wouldn't let me borrow hers. This is crazy. I know. Your mom's titties are three times my size, and I can fit none of her bras. She's got bad taste in clothes. V, just wear this, okay? So, am I supposed to buy y'all like a wedding gift or something? <laughs> Not funny. V, where are we going for our honeymoon? Look, V, we are not actually married. Once this is done, we're getting a divorce. And you, you can come and visit my house on the weekends. Over. Um, over? I gave you the best years of my life and it's over? So what makes you think y'all are going to win just because you're going on the show? Easy. Me and Veronica know everything about each other. Well, since she's your wife now, shouldn't her answers be a little more girlier non-friend wise than usual hmm. i think he's right v we don't want no one to suspect anything welcome to another episode of are you for real And here's your host, Lemmy Hart. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Are You For Real? This is the show where couples compete for a brand new house. Let's meet our couples. Couple number one, they're both from San Mushino, Ramona and Derek Flores. And couple number two, they're from Foxtail, California. They've been married for five months, Giovanni and Megan Mirnez. Our third and final couple are from right here in West Endland. They've been married for... Uh... One day. Biona and Veroni Val... Miklo... Uh... How do you say your last name? Oh, um... Val Miklo... Lo, lo, um... Yeah. Val Miklo... Lor? Um... I don't know. Okay, uh, now the rules of the game are simple. We asked each couple a couple of questions in separate rooms. If the other spouse gets it right, they score a point. The couple with the highest score at the end of the game wins a brand new house. So let's get started. Couple number one, Derek, what's the one thing you do that annoys Ramona? Uh, you know, letting my mama put in her two cents in our relationship. Ramona? That's right. Couple number two, Giovanni. What's one thing you do that annoys Megan? I believe it's when I use my leap towel on the floor. Megan says? No, it's when you excessively masturbate. Oh, come on, honey. At least I'm putting your pictures to good use. Besides, I know you like what you see. You dumbass. Oh. That one actually hurt. That's right, get him, girl. Whoa, 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 Verani! You can't hit the other husbands! Oh, my bad. Now, couple number three. Biona, what's one thing you do that annoys Veroni? Easy. She hates it when I drag her into my shit. Ding, one point for me. Veroni? Yes. <laughs> Woo! Give me the house, give me the house. Where's the keys? V, we ain't win yet. We still got a whole game to play. Oh. We'll be right back after these messages. Had a long day at work? I have a nice refreshing beverage for you. Come upstairs. Fantasy. 
Sí. La roca no me lo Mmm, cold, hard chocolate. Surge after surge of creamy caramel. Melts in your mouth. Ah. And in your hand. Orgasmo bar is a forbidden chocolate sensation, which uh, lets you bite off more than you can chew. Heck, Great Lakes College, I feel like more of an alternative than an individual, but sometimes I also feel like an individual. All I know is all the guys here call me number eight, though I don't know why, because I can't remember what happened at the parties. Great Lakes Community College is a school for college kids. Because Great Lakes University expects so much less from students, we professors get a lot of time to do extracurricular stuff we normally would not get to do. Like writing novels, doing research, hanging with sorority girls, and special students. Great Lakes College has such affordable prices. I mean, I've only been a stripper for three nights in a row and I've already paid off my semester. Great Heights really is a great city where nothing ever goes wrong. Thanks, Great Lakes. And because Great Lakes only has one sports team and one game in town, we never have to worry about grant money. Great Lakes College accepts all ages of even older women like me. Let me tell you, these college boys are so inexperienced. I mean, I know I played for the other team for a while, but I've been experimenting a little bit. There's no pressure here at this college at all. I only study for as long as I want to study for, and that actually gets me by. So come apply to Great Lakes College today. This commercial paid for by Mendoza Mink. Next time on The Dr. Pill Show. That I was gonna beat her ass and she didn't believe me. Ladies, fighting on my show is not tolerated whatsoever. Uh, are you serious? Now, what do you have to say for yourself? Round two? Bring it. No! Monday. Here comes Judith Ward with more of her negative attack ads, but let's stick to the real point. Judith Ward spent public taxes on vacation retreats in Africa where young faction men in their 20s learn to be dominated by the older woman. Judith Ward says she supports family values, but she's divorced her sixth husband and still can't conceive. Judith Ward also said she wants to end the war on terrorism and make your city vulnerable, just like those young Baxers were vulnerable with her at the retreat. Liza Moot is just not right for our country. She voted to raise taxes to pay for free condoms in kids' schools. Liza supports and encourages teen pregnancy. Liza Moot is also against abstinence and is pro-sleeping around. She campaigned repealing the amendments to her constitution for the police not to track criminals and threats in this country. So vote Judith Ward at this coming election. Remember, you have a choice. Oh, when we win this, <laughs> you can stay over one night, I guess. Well, folks, it's been a close game, and we have a tight-knit game between the Miranas and the Valkla Maloney Bergenson whatever. 
Now, Biona, for 10 points and winner of this game, what is Veroni's favorite musical artist? Oh my God. Is this really happening? Like, for real? I'm about to have my own place. No more parents, no Kiki, no Gemma. Like, bitch, I can work my shitty ass job and still be good. This is the best day ever. Yo, Veronica, oh God, I swear I'll never call you a dumbass again. Well, let me hold up. Where the camera at? The one for the TV. Where's the TV camera at? Over here? Okay, good. Bet. Okay, so here we go. The answer is Drake. Final answer, Drake. Let me run me my keys. Run me my keys. Let me run me my keys. Veroni? My favorite is Justin Bieber. Ooh! So sorry, Beyonce. No, V. What? V? You like Drake. What you mean, Justin Bieber? Well, see, Veronica likes Drake. But Veroni likes Justin Bieber. Besides, you said answer the question more, girl. So your dumb ass went and said Justin Bieber? Are you stupid? Which means, Megan and Giovanni, you have won a brand new house. No, no, wait. We deserve that house. We had to go through mad shit for this. Yeah! All of you, kiss my ass! Good job, Jojo. You're not that stupid after all. Steven, we need to find her a real job or get her back in school. 